Hello everyone, and welcome back to Nancy Drew Warnings at Waverly Academy. I, uh, kind of forgot what I was doing. I know it's nighttime now. And I think there's some rules about walking around at night. Okay, so it just sounds like I need to do a little bit of puzzle solving. But I'm going to find my way back to our, our room first. Just because I don't want to get in trouble for anything. What's up, Rumi? I met Leela. She was in the rec room. She's usually in the gym, either bouncing, kicking, hitting, or throwing some kind of ball. You name a sport, she's great at it. And competitive? That girl loves to win, and almost always does. When did she hurt her wrist? She started wrapping her wrist about a week ago, but is it actually hurt? Debatable. Could she be the black cat? Well, she's here on a scholarship, so it's real hard for me to believe she's smart enough to one, secretly be the black cat, and two, divert suspicion by faking an injury and making herself look like a victim of the black cat. But I have to admit, it is possible. I've bugged you enough. See ya! Later! So how, how does time work in this game? Like, obviously it passes, but... Is there a way I can, like, go to sleep? I can look at my friends all night. Oh wait, what'd that say actually? Was that new? I didn't read that. It disappeared, so I'm, I'm not entirely sure what it was. I thought that was the letter we got from... We looked at before, but maybe it wasn't. Hey Rachel, I think I have all the pictures now. Where is the, uh... Okay, I gotta attach the camera to the USB port on the computer. That explains why I couldn't find it before. I should read the instructions. Hello, do you have anything to say? Hey, what's going on? Is it true you're here on a scholarship? That's right. Athletic. Full ride. Although I have to maintain a pretty high grade point average in order to keep it. Luckily for me, that's not a problem. Congrats. What would happen if you got injured and couldn't play sports for the rest of the year? They'd probably pull my scholarship. So not only would I not be valedictorian, I wouldn't even be able to graduate, which would really shoot holes in my future. So if I get injured again, and I find out it's this black cat person's fault, believe me, she's gonna wind up injured too. Would it be okay if you weren't the valedictorian? It'd be okay with the school, but it sure wouldn't be okay with me. No matter what I'm competing in, I always play to win. <laughs> the nice thing is, I usually do. Then how come I beat you in both of the games we played previously? I'll let you go. Hang in there. All right, um... Oh boy, how do I get back downstairs? I haven't figured out how to navigate this place very well yet. Not now, please. Does Paige have a character model? Will we ever find out? Who knows? I just want to make my way back to the library. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, let's see. Sure. <laughs> that smile. Okay, that should be everyone. Those look like pretty good pictures to me. I suppose I could have zoomed in a bit more on these two, but... I 
Okay, let's go see if Rachel's okay with that. Uh, where am I? Navigation. Help. Okay, now I know where we are. You can come in. I can't talk now. Okay. Very well then. Haven't done that. Let's call some people then, since I'm a bit lost. Get some help from our buddies. Let's call Bess. We haven't talked to her yet. Hi, this is Bess. I'm a little busy right now, but leave your name and number and I'll get back to you as soon as I can, okay? Never mind. Let's call Ned. Give him, give him some updates. Hi, Nancy. You making progress? I'd better go before someone overhears me. Call again soon, okay? Never mind. You got it. Bye. Let's call Megan, because why not? Hello, Becca Sawyer. Hi. Okay if I ask you something else? Sure. The way she said it, Becca Sawyer made me a bit... feel a bit weird. Like, does she know that that's not our real name? How do you like rooming with Mel? I don't. We were kind of thrown together because of this valedictorian thing. Who would you want as a roommate? It'd be kind of fun to room with Leela. Especially if it meant Mel and Izzy would have to be roommates. Oh my gosh, they'd be so busy loathing each other that the chance of either one becoming valedictorian would be zip. I would probably want to room with Mel. Thanks for talking to me. Anyway, it's been real. I'll see you when I get back to Waverly, okay? Right, bye. She seems very chill. I get a feeling me and her would mostly just do our own thing and stay out of each other's way. Oh yeah, I, I need- we just got this message at the end of the last video, right. I should go ask her about that. How's it going? What's this about your stealing Leela's boyfriend? The guy asked me to Oxbro's holiday bash and I said yes, big whoop. But he was dating Leela. It's a free country, he can date whomever he wants. Look, I don't steal boyfriends, okay? I don't have to. Guys are just naturally attracted to me. I know how conceited that sounds, but it's the truth. Leela had her chance with this guy. She couldn't cut it, so now he's into me. She's just gonna have to deal with it. Okay, so I'm gonna say the blame lies with him for this. I mean, it probably still wasn't the best move for her, but, uh... You know, he if she's telling the truth and he's the one who asked her out, then I can't really blame her. Is it true you just got a second note from the black cat? No, I'm pretty sure the note I got was from Leela. It was a lame attempt to get even with me for stealing her stupid boyfriend. Do you think she sent the first note, too? Who cares? The black cat can send me as many notes as she wants. They're just words on paper. I'd really like to see that second black cat note you got. Sorry. I did the same thing to it that I did to the first note. Burned it. Hmm. Did you really? Or did you, did you even get the note in the first place? I need to get going. Pop in any time! Because without evidence, I have no evidence that you're telling the truth. Alright, I guess we're gonna do some puzzle solving outside at night. Are we allowed to go outside at night? I'm not sure. I know there was a list of rules, but I don't really remember them. This, this thing. cornerstone looks different than it did in that book. Yes, it does. Ah, it's one of these, okay. Well, this looks out of place right here. Let me just move everything out of the way. Can 
Can I rotate them? Yep, okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, man. Okay. Let's put this here for now. Ooh, that could work. No, it's a little too big, actually. But maybe this one? Still too big. Okay, maybe this doesn't go here after all, then. But how about like this? That looks cool. Oops, I was not trying to move that one. Maybe something else goes there. That's not right. That almost fits. Well, it kind of clicked into place there. You know, I think I just rebuilt it exactly how it was. <laughs> Yep. Hmm. I think I might need to look at the book again. Do I still have the key? I do not. But we left the key in the cabinet, right? Ah, uh, we can't zoom in any more than that. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna try something weird. Yeah, this isn't gonna work. <laughs> it's not missing a piece, is it? I'm just supposed to rearrange these until they cover up that square. Oh, that might be a thing. Hold on now. Interesting how they snap into place. I can't seem to do anything that doesn't leave this square open. Maybe... <laughs> this is terrible. I really like this music playing in the background right now. Magic. Well, hey, little guy. What's up? What are you doing? Hey! Come are back you... here! 
He must have some kind of nest up there. Thieving little squirrel. Hallowell. If you wish to forget anything on the spot, make a note that this thing is to be remembered. <laughs> I do not wish to forget, but others must before the day comes when it is safe to be recognized for what I have done. Over a decade has passed, yet I continue to feel as if someone were watching, about to expose me for the villainous I, am I in some ways am. Poor Usher, my beautiful cat, is my sole comfort, but he continues to dislike our new home. Even the warmth of his favorite lamps no longer calms him unless accompanied by the piano rendition of their musical narration. First low bass, then... Col... Cola... Ratern? I'm not a music person. Oh! Bird, yes! Experience has shown, and a true philosophy will always show, that a vast, perhaps the larger portion of the truth arises from the seemingly irrelevant. Indeed, a day spent afield sketching a beautiful raven has allowed me to discover this for myself. Its cousin the crow is not... How dare you! Its cousin the crow is not nearly as noble a creature. But how to tell the two apart from a distance? Close observation of the... Wedge tail, large bill, shaggy breast ruff, and elegantly long primary feathers lead to a wonder wondrous conclusion. Reconstruction of these United States will lead to an even more wondrous conclusion, but that is a subject for an altogether different classroom. Okay, Miss Hallowell, I've got beef with you. I, I love crows, okay? I like them more than I like ravens, and ravens are pretty cool. I will fight you on this. Resurrect yourself from the dead. We're gonna fist fight. Till I scarcely more than muttered, other fiends have flown before. On the morrow he will leave me as my hopes have fallen, flown before, the raven. To have known Edgar Allan Poe is to have known a uh, genius. Though it's now obvious I shall never be the writer I long ago imagined I would someday become, I have found all the solace I need in his writing. So that I scarcely notice my dreams depart one by one. With a celebratory dinner... An elegant wine, nine-course meal served with perfect etiquette, I bid the last of them farewell. Years come and go, yet the past remains a constant, undimming shadow. And so I have assembled a group and charged it with, albeit unwill unwittingly, protecting and preserving my hidden treasure. Behind the... Du dupin? Great. The Black Woods chant shall someday reveal what history deemed lost, but only after someone... Someone's dogged curiosity and capacity for clear thought have proved that person to be worthy of this honor. I can do nothing more. Rita, Rita Hallowell. Other Poe stories. Cat and Moon. Interesting. Well, the squirrel stole something that looked kind of like a key. I imagine I'll be needing that. I, I need to play the Lamp piano thingy. Mr. Squirrel? I can't reach. If I want to go after that squirrel, I'm going to have to find another way to get up into this tree. Or we could lure him down here with some food. We got bags of nuts in the, uh, little kitchen area. Okay, we got a bunch of clues now. We got our clue book for the game. That's done. Okay, it was a gold token that he stole. Did that. That's done. Alright, we need to talk to lots of people now. Leela. Okay, you're here, good. Hey, what's going on? Do you think I could borrow the old menu that you borrowed from the display case in the foyer? Yeah, in fact, I got it right here. I needed it for this lame nutrition paper I had to write. I keep forgetting to put it back. But before I give it to you... Let me guess, I have to beat you at a game. Air hockey or scram? You get to pick. Um... Air hockey. Air hockey. Excellent. They're both fun, but I feel like air hockey is faster. Ooh, purple. Goal! 
Watch me fail. Oh, are you kidding me? I thought this before, but the, uh, the puck looks like an uncooked meat patty. I'm just playing with myself now. <laughs> oh yeah! this game. No, I shot and scored for you. I believe I mentioned last time that, uh, half the time I'm playing air hockey, I end up scoring against myself. This is still true, apparently. this game. You beat me. Nice job. Who? Oh. There's the menu. Thank you. Okay, oysters. I don't know how to pronounce that, but I'm familiar with the word. Terrapin, filet of beef, sorbet, roast spring chicken, cheese, vanilla ice cream, sugared oranges, and coffee. Sounds pretty good. Need anything else? I better get going. Bye. Check. Still have to do that. Oh, the order of the foods. That's done. Interesting. Check. It sounds like I need to make a visit to the library. How's it going? I've harassed you enough. Pop in any time! Okay, are there any books I can look at that can help me figure things out? Okay, well that's a bust. Uh, Victorian? Ah, formal Victorian dining. It's in the nonfiction section.
I think that made something else pop up. Oh, it's it's borrowed by Rachel. Got it. Uh, something about pianos. Aha. Looks like that was borrowed by Mel, possibly. Yes, okay. That's done. Did that. So talk to Mel, talk to Rachel. Got it. Yeah? What's the word? That book on music theory you checked out, could I take a look at it? No problem. As long as you go get me some milk and a cookie from the snack shop. It's not that I'm too lazy to do it myself, it's just that... You have a certain image to maintain. And milk and cookies don't exactly enhance it. Understood. I'll be back. Sure, no problem. I don't mind doing a favor for a favor. You can come in. Do you want anything? What? Listen, I know you checked out a book on Victorian dining, but I was wondering if I could borrow it. I'm kind of into Victorian stuff. Sorry, I need it for the paper I'm writing. But I'll tell you what, if you get my math notebook from Mel, I'll work on that project for a while and you can borrow the Victorian book. I know Mel's just down the hall, but I'd rather not have to deal with her, okay? Sure, one math notebook coming up. Great, see you then. Got it. I'm here. Hi, it's me again. Got my milk and cookie? Sorry, I got distracted. No milk and cookie, no music theory book. I need to get Rachel's math notebook from you. Sure. Soon as I remember where I put it. Nuts, I left it in the library. That's all right, I can go get it. Why do you want her math notebook? Well, actually, Rachel, uh... She wants it, but she didn't want to ask me for it in person. It's almost like she's afraid of you. I don't treat her any differently than I treat practically everyone else around here. In other words, for the most part, I totally ignore her. I don't know what her problem is. I'll quit bugging you. Sounds good. Maybe Rachel just has really bad social anxiety. Okay, people, I'm ready to take your orders. I have got such a crush on Mr. Harris, I can't stand it. You and every other girl at Waverly. Not every girl. Oh, I'm sorry, you're right. Just the ones who take calculus. But he's not really what you'd call hot, you know? Order up. Well, if she doesn't want him, I'll take him. I think he's a dog. Who are these people talking? They don't sound like the people we've already met. Food's ready. There. All done. Haven't done that. How do I get her the... Okay, everybody. Snack shop's open. I just want to grab a cookie and milk. Here, I'll just put this over here for... for Mel. This will be her spot. And the next thing I knew, Mr. Harris was calling me up to his desk. Oh my gosh, I love when that happens! It lets you get a real... Food's ready! Whiff of his aftershave. Uh. Teacher-student relationships are definitely a thing. These are like high schoolers, right? Order up! Makes me a little bit uncomfortable. There. All done. Okay, did I get the, uh, 
Haven't done that. How do I? Hey, what's going on? That's it for now. Okie dokie. Okay, everybody. Snack shop's open. There. All done. I... I don't know how to... Haven't done that. I don't know how to do that. That's done. Check. Can't check that off yet. Well, I guess I'll go look for the math notebook then. How's it going? I've harassed you enough. Pop in any time! Something tells me I don't see Rachel's math book anywhere because it wound up in here. Those are Roman numerals. Indeed they are. Okay, I'm pretty sure M is thousand, maybe? Is D a hundred, C is fifty, maybe? I'm pretty sure that's the year that the uh, the school was founded. So instead of trying to figure out Roman numerals, I'm just gonna look at this book. Eighteen sixty six. Sure, let's give it a try. That was incorrect. Got it. Any chance that uh, I can find a book on Roman numerals here? Because if not, I'll just I'll just Google it. Ah, okay. It's on the shelf. Good. I like to try and solve things with the in-game resources if possible. I guess it's not on this shelf. Oh, it's right here. Okay. Twenty six forty one. Yes, okay. Why are there gnomes in here? Can, can we look at that book? No, we can't. Okay. Very well. Well, let's go give this back to Rachel, then. I'm here! You've got my math notebook. Fab, I'll take that. What do you have against Mel? Nothing. She's one of the few girls around here I actually kind of like. But before, you said you didn't want to deal with her. You misunderstood. I meant I didn't have time to deal with her because of these stupid papers I have to write. Anyway, the book's all yours. Go ahead and take it. 
This is probably completely incorrect, but my wild theory is that she has a crush on Mel and doesn't- she gets flustered around her. I'm sure I'm completely wrong about that, but I can dream. <laughs> I gotta get back to work here. I'll see you later. I mean, come on, we're in an all-girls school. Isn't that a cliché? Amber Sullivan. She's pretty. Did that. That's done. Did that. That's done. Did that. Haven't done that. Uh, where's the menu again? Is this the menu? Yeah. Interesting. What's up, Rumi? I'll let you get back to your paper. Enjoy. Can I call anyone? Hi, Nancy. You making progress? The notes from the black cat may have something to do with a teacher named Rita Hollowell. Oh, yeah? What'd she teach? Literature. At least she did, about 150 years ago. Excuse me? She helped found Waverly Academy back in 1866. And do you think she has something to do with notes being sent to students now? Not only did she have a black cat, but it looks like she hid something very valuable somewhere in Ramsey Hall. That's the old building I'm staying in. That's interesting. Does anyone else know about this? I'm not sure, but if someone does know and is trying to find out what Hollowell hid, that might explain the notes from the black cat. You know, you're going to have to be real careful what you ask and tell people from now on. Because if someone is trying to find it, and realizes you may be trying to find it too... I'll be careful, Ned. Don't worry. Too late. A hint would come in very handy right about now. Tell me what you need and I'll do my best. According to Rita Hollowell's journal, I need to play something on the piano, and I know it probably has something to do with the letters and numbers on those glass lampshades in the foyer. But beyond that, help! All you need is something that'll tell you how the notations etched into those lampshades translate into piano keys. Head for the card catalog in the library. There's bound to be a book on music theory around there somewhere. Sounds good. Thanks for your help. My pleasure. See you, Nan. Bye. All right, so it sounds like my next order of business is getting this book from Mel. I just got to figure out how to get the milk and cookie from the kitchen to her room. So I'm not entirely sure how to do that right now. But I will be stopping here for today. I have my suspicions for sure about a couple people. Like, Izzy is looking a bit suspicious to me. The fact that she's apparently gotten two black cat notes but has destroyed both of them. Like, she could be telling the truth, but... Maybe she never received the notes in the first place and she's just saying that she did. For whatever reason. That doesn't necessarily mean she's the black cat, she could just be trying to get attention doing it, I don't know. But I definitely have thoughts about everything. So, thanks for watching, hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.